hey what's up guys welcome to my channel so i know there are a lot of pros out there that know how to export and import config files in HTTP injector but most of the features that we added today are make it difficult for newbies to import and export config from the vpn application so in today's video i'll make it easy for everyone to understand the complete process of importing and exporting config files from HTTP injector okay so without any further ado let's end this tutorial Okay, so this is how HTTP injector looks like when you open it. Okay, so let's say you've had set, you've set up all your 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 tweaking, or you've done all the tweaking in the application, and then now you need to export the config file. Okay, so as you can see, I've set up the TLS connection method, and I want to export it. So what you have to do is just to click on this paper tray icon right here, and you click on export config. Okay, so you want to grant the application access to your media files okay so just click on this allow and then you give your config a name okay let me just name it this way all right and then now we have you have a couple of options to choose from Okay, so you need to pay a close attention to what you will be selecting here alright so even if the tunneling method you are not using in, you are using HTTP injector isn't active you want to on to make sure that you don't export it so that others have access to it okay so as you saw earlier I had my config file that was through SSL tunneling okay but also I already set up the V2A setup alright and Hysteria of course as well so what I want to do is if I want folks to ask to access this only the SSH version or portion of this config I'll just check this SSH okay and if you want them to access your v 2 ray as well just make sure you check all of these two just like so as you can see as I check v 2 ray the options here just increase okay and if I do same with hysteria you see they just increase same for shadow socks okay so i don't want to include all of these options let me just leave it to these two all right so this is where things come interesting where you have to lock your config and prevent editing which is what everyone usually does but if you want everyone to access your tweaking and settings you just click on this lock config okay so now you can lock all of these options below or you can just let it be as it is okay so what you have to do is you just come to this general and select the ones that you want to lock all right you can lock remote proxy and if it is empty you wouldn't be able to lock it okay as i said earlier i choose the http the ssl tunneling method that's which is why you don't see which is why not all of these options are available for me to lock okay so this one just these three and for the ssh as well i didn't enter that one okay so if you enter in your case it's going to let you lock this part of your config and for the s the v2a as you can see it wasn't entered as well so that's just the same thing for all of these okay you can add a notice to your file you can say this is a config file for this a let me say free internet config okay so this is the note is it just like so so now what you have to do is just click on this export button here it's like so you can save it to your cloud you can just save it your mobile device or you can save locked and the unlocked version of this config which is what i recommend you to do okay because if you save just the locked version and you have to forget and you forget the details that were mentioned in your config file you wouldn't be able to recover them unless you save the unlock version so i'll just save this one and then great so the config have been exported okay 
so now let's say you want to import a config file all right still click on this paper to icon and click on import config as you can see and then now depending on the option you choose to save your config files you if you saved it as a cloud config you should click select this option you can select from your internal storage but http injector makes it even easier okay you can come to your internal storage and define where you selected it but i selected that i saved that into my http injector folder just as where i save other configs so just click on that one and then you see this http injector ehi this is the locked version now if i want the unlocked version you will just see it listed here with the other options okay so i'm just going to select this locked version just like so and there's it this is the message i added this is a free a config a free internet config all right so if you click on the start of course it's going to get connected if you set up the config file correctly okay so guys that's how you get to import and export config files in http injector okay if you found this video actually helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell to miss our upcoming video all right so i'll catch you in the next video